Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the salary of a developer versus tester, which is really, really important for a QA fresher as well as experienced people having three to five years experience. They want to check uh, about the different salaries of uh, what are the difference and what are the myths about the difference between developer and tester profile. All right, so let's get started. Awesome guys, first. Okay, cool. Let's discuss about the first topic, which is what people think about it. Okay, first of all, about the superior versus uh, developer versus uh, tester, right? Let me pull up my marker. Uh, there is an article that I have read recently, which uh, which has a similar topic that there is a uh, not much difference between the uh, software developer and a tester profile. Here is a link. Okay, and uh, let me show you the link also. You can read about it. It's on the test bytes. Uh, basically, says uh, there is a no. Uh, there is not much difference between the software developer and tester and their goals are same. Again, uh, they are saying that their goals are same basically to uh, deliver the quality product. I agree with that, but uh, here is the difference. Here is the difference for QA freshers. Uh, if you talk about salary, especially from the Indian point of view, that right, QA salary is, a, is really, really less. Uh, Indian point of view basically means Asian market. It basically covers uh, India, Bangladesh and all the nearby Middle East, right? Here you will see that QAs are getting less salary as compared to the uh, European and the UK, especially European, UK and the American standards where salary of a as that or you can say automation engineer or even the manual tester is comparable as compared to the developer, right? But here in the Asian market, it's very, very, the, the, the difference is massive. And I'm going to show you with the examples as well as the links on the glass door that I'm seeing, uh, basically have put it here, right? And this document is already available on the as that as dot live slash notes. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You can go through it, uh, go open this PDF and you can go through the links and check it out. Okay. Uh, or you can just follow along with me. Okay. So again, uh, the difference is actually the software developer as well as tester, if you are someone who's basically getting two roles or two, uh, as a fresher, suppose you have an opportunity to go in a developer profile or a tester profile, how you can make that decision, right? You can uh, just see this video, for it, right? Uh, the developer responsibility, of course, we know it's basically to write test cases, uh, write, sorry, programming, write programs, right? Uh, you, you will be creating mobile application, web application, right? You are basically designing and developing the application components, right? That's the major role of the developer. Here, a QA role will be debugging the scripts, uh, identifying the flaws. Uh, you are basically uh, identifying the bugs and other things. You are testing the application end to end and you are basically responsible mostly for the quality of that product, right? And uh, this links, I'm, I'll, be, uh, I'll open after some times. So uh, especially in the Indian market that I was talking about, right? We are getting uh, less com salary as compared to the uh, other European markets and that's really really sad right uh, dev versus uh, QA role if you know uh, now the question which uh, basically you are here right uh, I have both offer or if right now I am at uh, testing should I go to developer role or vice versa right I mean uh, my according to me it's your choice and it's totally depend how you want to take the challenges if you are someone who like to develop things if you are someone who's basically are into finding bugs then if you are uh, interested in finding bugs and exploratory nature you have you want to try out and you are think uh, you basically think about as a user perspective then testing role is great great for you and uh, uh, and if you are someone who like to create something and who are also uh, basically want to uh, develop something new right and then definitely develop a role is for you I'm going to give you a very, very uh, frank point here is that I have switched from developer to tester profile. So uh, point here is that uh, if you are going to a developer role, there is a large uh, responsibility you are getting. You are getting uh, there, there will be lots of expectation from you as a developer. Right. And as well as if you are not able to deliver them properly, then definitely you will lag behind. Similarly, as a software tester, you have a large responsibility for testing the application and maintaining the quality of it. Okay, so those things you need to take care on this. And as a fresher, I would suggest uh, write the pros and cons for both of the profiles and compare the salary packages also. I mean, salary package, you will be disappointed for QA, especially in the Indian market that I have seen. Outside market, uh, you will see outside market basically means outside India market. 
which is basically Europe, UK and other things uh, or Singapore and all they have like pretty much same package for the both of the profile. So you can take that decision based on that. Right. Let's come to the important point, which is my thoughts on this. Of course, there is a large difference initially in the Asian market that I have told you, right? You can go to the LinkedIn salary, Glassdoor or Payscale. I have uh, proved this many times. There's a huge difference, massive gap as compared to the salary packages versus Q, QA versus developer. So you have to take a decision based on that and uh, based on the inputs that I have discussed earlier. It's your choice. It depends on you. Uh, how you are responsible you uh, whatever the internship that you have done what kind of internship do you have done that is also responsible because uh, if you have read in the state of testing report 2020 right it was uh, clearly mentioned most of the software testers are actually accidental in nature they were basically trying for a developer job and they basically uh, and ended up in a software testing role even i was the uh, that's a hard uh, reality so even i was trying for a developer role and I was into the testing after some time, but I uh, started liking it in the end. And that's how here you are with the nine years experience working greatly in the as a automation engineer. Okay. Awesome. Uh, gap is uh, gap is uh, adjusted after five to six years. This is a really important point that I wanted to give you with my nine to 10 years experience, which is after five to six years, uh, six years of experience, even in the QA profile and a profile, the gap is basically started to minimize because you are reaching to a management role afterwards. Okay. And uh, QA people have given a respect as compared to developer that I have talked uh, many times. It is true. It's a hard reality. Uh, you can't ignore it. People are saying in the comment, it's not true. It's blah, blah, blah. But trust me, it's hard reality. QA people are given res less respect as compared to developer because uh, developers are developing something and many times uh, if you are a good QA, if you are basically uh, uh, if you know your roles and responsibility, if you are great value to the company, definitely they will uh, give you more respect. But overall, as a generic, I'm telling you, it's uh, QA people are given less res responsibility and less visibility over the work. That's true. And uh, if you talk about uh, developers, they are they have more responsibility and more respect. Uh, testers basically enjoy the application finding errors uh, comparatively less or per less personal stress that I have seen and pro bug and you can say that QA blame game and other things testers enjoy on this okay so this is hard reality let's do one thing which is basically uh, these two URLs right let's uh, see the developer salary and come okay and let me copy the tester salary also okay and here we go guys let's understand now okay let me make sense a little smaller okay awesome i'll uh, give me one second let me open them in here so that this pop-up basically i can ignore yeah right now see uh clearly uh okay both of them i have open testers is it okay now it's right see how much uh, does a software tester make it's for especially for the india you can change it according to and here is a developer you will see that uh, developers are almost making a double as compared to the uh, testers right initially right and this is a data from the all the mncs available as well as the product based company there are a couple of product based companies here also and this is clearly visible right this is clearly visible that uh, initial even uh, initially even uh, with the five or six years the difference is almost uh, developers are getting high as compared to the testers which are getting low right so this is a uh, true this is hard truth now okay so that i wanted to discuss in this video and uh, this is uh, mostly about the salary of a developer testers and uh, you have to make your decision based on this as well as the dis the topic that i have discussed here right as a fresher as well as as a q experience people and uh, I have seen around three to four years, uh, testers are getting moved to developer roles and even developers are getting moved to tester roles based on their requirement, uh, their choices, and they are basically uh, how uh, basically uh, they have the roles and responsibilities. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have learned something new. If you are someone who is basically want to learn from me, uh, learn API testing, rest assured, Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, other things, do check out the videos on the Testing Academy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.